losing a loved one. When we lose a loved one through death or by separation or another sort, we often feel emotions that are not easy to deal with. We all handle this separation differently. In grief, it seems, goes deeper than the seven stages of grief and the Kubler-Ross model. We may instinctively read Psalm 23, reach for a poem we know to help. We all react differently. Whichever way we deal with it for ourselves, the event is, in my experience, nearly always a sad one. At times we are asked to celebrate a life that's led, when all we want to do inside is to cry and oh, see them again. We are told there is no sting in death, and yet this never really gives much comfort. God seems far away at times. It may be that we feel that it's unfair our loved one has been taken. We doubt the existence of God, and we also doubt ourselves. We question our own mortality. Broken hearts are not easily mended, whether it's our own or someone we know that has suffered this loss. Our faith can become low or even non-existent. Our regime can become scattered, or our minds become conflicted, or our spirit antiquated. What's the solution? How do we cope? What words of wisdom can comfort when we don't really know what to say for the best? Condolences are difficult and need much thought. It's never easy knowing what to say and how to say it. Sensitivity is needed, and much of it. Praying about what to say sometimes helps. And sometimes we need to pray about how to respond to. Perhaps you could someone else to pray. You could ask someone else to pray for you, or a prayer group in your local church or maybe your local pastor and vicar it seems appropriate to say Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.